And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen and has become the habitation of devil and the hold of every foul spirit and a cave of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. John understood this as the vibrations were strong, telling of the fall of Babylon. And of course, when I say, when I utter the name John, I am of course referring to John of Patmos, Saint John. And this is the further readings of the arcane understanding of the revelations to Saint John. The vibrations were strong, telling of the fall of Babylon, and it had become the habitation of slanderers, demons, and of every foul spirit, black magic practitioners, and home of every unclean and hateful bird, in those days being a main food supply. For all the nations of earth have drank from or participated in the anger that her fornication produces, the baser animal instincts. Look up, investigate. I can suggest look up occult medicine. Occult medicine, and we know occult is Latin for hidden. Occult medicine and the endocrine system. The kings of the earth have indulged in these actions with her. And the merchants of the earth became rich in trading because of the abundance of the delicacies she controlled. The delicacies controlled adrenochrome and all what Joe Biden and all that Hillary Clinton, Obama, all those people were adrenochrome pedophiles. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sin, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Then John heard another vibration. Come out of the whore, my people, that you do not partake in her sin. And thus you will not receive the reactions she will receive as karmic, as karma must rebalance. For what she has done has reached unto the cosmic order and karmic laws and God Melchizedek remembers her iniquities from this and previous lives. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works and the cup which she hath filled to her double. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Reward her as she has you double unto her double according to her actions, and in the cup which she has filled, base her actions in order to reap her delicacies. Give her a double measure. For the amount that she has glorified herself and lived lavishly, give to her torment and sorrow to the same degree, because she has said in her heart, I sit as a queen, the ruler, and I am not a widow, not a personage, and shall see no sorrow. And this situation is reminiscent of the removing of the reincarnation doctrine from the Bible in the Middle Ages due to the then Pope's wife refusing to admit her actions would meet with karmic laws and require rebalancing in the next life. Therefore, shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, 
And she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judges her. Therefore, will her retributions come all in one day with mourning, famine, and she, she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord Melchizedek, the Lord God, the head God, Lord Melchizedek of Karma, that judges from the books and requires rebalancing of disrupted ener energies. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. And all the kings of earth that had partaken of her wealth and committed the baser animal actions with her shall cry for her and lament for her when they see the smoke from the burning of her, the city. Standing far away in fear of her torment, they will say, Alas, that great city Babylon, Rome, that mighty city has in one hour received this judgment. Now, some of you, my dear esteemed viewers, some of you may see this as being harsh. Yet if we really knew the truth of what organized religions have kept secret from the masses, revolution would ensue. In fact, revolution will ensue. All darkness is being revealed now. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise any more. And the merchants will weep and mourn over her, for no man will buy their merchandise any longer. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all theine wood and all manner vessels of ivory and all manner vessels of most precious wood and brass and iron and marble, be it that of gold, silver, precious stones, pearls, fine linen, purple, silk, scarlet, and theine wood and all manners of vessels of ivory, precious woods, brass, iron, and marble, and cinnamon and odours and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men and cinnamon odours ointments frankincense wine oil fine flour wheat beasts sheep horses chariots slaves and even the very souls of men and the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee and thou shalt find them no more at all. And all the things, actions, situations that their souls lusted after have disappeared. And all the things that were good and dainty have also disappeared from them. And they will not find them again anymore. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing. And saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple, and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour so great riches is come to naught. And every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried. When they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city? Basically, where can we go now to do trade and make wealth as we had done, done here? Basically, these people looking for the things to return back to how they were in the beginning of 2000, before 2020. Things will never be quite the same, my dear esteemed viewer. White and never will be. And that's a good thing because Babylon has fallen. And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, for in one hour is she made desolate. And they flagellated themselves, wailing and saying, Alas, that great city wherein many were made wealthy. For those that could afford the costly ships in one hour have seen her made desolate. 
Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God has God hath avenged you on her. Rejoice over her, heaven, and my holy apostles and prophets, for God, Melchizedek, has avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. With an astronomical event similar to that as happened in the time of Babylon, the mighty angel messenger took up a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence will the great city be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeteers shall be heard no more at all in thee, and no craftsman of whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee, and the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. And all those that once were within that great city, regardless of their functions, shall be heard no more at all. Now, psychologically, this is also what happens when the egos are dissolved by awakening to enlightenment. The egos are annihilated by the freeing of the soul trapped behind the wall of the superego constructed by the upbringing from erroneously learned behavior patterns from family, culture, and society. From your digital matrix that is constantly programming you to be a good little beast worshiper. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for thy sorceries were all nations deceived, for by thy sorceries. And no longer will there be any activities of any kind within, for the merchants controlled and became the great men of earth. And by the sorceries, the skullduggeries, were all the nations deceived, just as has continued until this day with the onset of the New World Order. The artificial intelligence hive mind. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. Now that was me reading chapter 18 in Revelations. Um, and that I just read the last verse, chapter 18 from book of Revelations, uh, and that was verse 24. So for within her, the hierarchies within the city of all organized religions was found the blood of the prophets, saints and all those that were slain upon the earth. She having been the one that orchestrated all such things. Yeah. Organized religion. <laughs> the beast. Well, my dear and esteemed viewer, as I said, that was readings from the arcane understanding of the revelation, revelation to St. John. You are the temple. The temple is in your mind. You see the face of God through meditation, through you experience God. You activate your chakras through clean, right living, through mastering your lower nature, through always keeping your eyes on the light, through unplugging from the digital matrix, uh, being mindful of that which passes your watchtowers, keep your frequency, your vibration high, the frequency of the 144,000 of the activated pineal gland, the chosen people of source of the prime creator of the divine grid programmer, and those that hit that subscribe button. Namaste, namaskaram.